From the Riffs! Hey, welcome back to another edition of From the Riffs. Once again, we are at the Palladium Open House, and we're talking to Mr. Chuck Walton. Hey, and how's it going? As usual, I'm Big Will Johnson, and behind the camera... Carmen Blair. The illustrious Carmen Blair. So, Mr. Walton. Yeah, how's it <laughs> All going? All right. So, yeah, um, uh, you guys may not know, I'm a big fan of Walton's work. Really dig it. And now I'm going to find out how this guy does what he does. Yeah. So, tell us a little wow. bit about Chuck Walton. Ah, oh, well, there's a lot to Chuck Walton, and it's not, really. <laughs> you know, um, like many of the artists, I'm self-taught, so nothing formal behind me. Um, just picking up the odds and ends, tutorials online, things mm -hmm. of that nature, and just following inspiration, doing what I enjoy, and finally getting a chance to do it. So, oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, what do you find is your inspiration? Oh, man, all the good stuff that we all love that brings us here. Uh, movies, video games, miniatures, um, cartoons growing up in, you know. For so the, you know you got to be specific, right? Uh, oh, wow. So I give, mean, give, give us one movie, good. one video game, one cartoon. Okay, let's see here. Movie, uh, AVP, or Aliens. Um, let's see, cartoon, Vampire Hunter D, Bubblegum Crisis, uh, Let's see, video game, Halo, uh, StarCraft. Did this guy just hit the geek trifecta or what? I think <laughs> it's good to be in, in, in fellow company. <laughs> All right, so um, so now we know what inspires you. Um, traditionally, what's the medium you like to work with best? Traditionally, I love uh, pencils, um, okay. just black and white. Give me a pencil, um, whether it's the standard school-issued public pencil mm -hmm. and sharpener, or mechanical pencil and paper I'm good okay. to go all right and um, what would you say like when you are working uh, what do you do to kind of get yourself in the mood you know is it is something like some guys listen to music if so what kind of music uh, you know or do you have your favorite anime or movie running in the background what do you like to what gets you in the zone you know you know when you hit that coast right gotcha. you know and okay. it's just flowing <laughs> off the edge of the pencil I got you ah oh, good question Will um it varies. Uh, deadlines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yes. Uh, deadlines that get you in the mood one way or the other. And then you start referencing. You know, so mm -hmm. then you see what the competition's out there. You read what's required, what you can bring to the plate that's, you know, a little above and beyond what people may be expecting. You know, trying to get out of the stereotypical vibe. And okay. then music, um, I... Love music if it's getting me flowing, whether it's techno house music, love jit music, mm -hmm. um, or if it's Conan, you know, soundtrack, you yeah. know, something, yeah. whatever the mood is of what I have to illustrate, if it's, you know, something based off of mechanical, I may get into a little anime a little bit. Okay. But bouncing between that, going through references and YouTube um, yeah. videos, whatever it takes. Okay, yeah, whatever, yeah. Whatever what's, your, what's your workflow like? Uh, are you a morning person, nights, afternoons? Oh man, I am a vampire. Unfortunately, I I sleep in and it's what's just, that? That's number four. <laughs> number four. It's the Palladium standard, apparently. Uh, yes. All I, vampires all day. It's the curse. <laughs> or all mean, night, for that matter. But if I had to be, I would be the werewolf of the crew. I wouldn't be the vampire. I'm a Jacob. But definitely. Oh, 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 I had to say. It. <laughs> oh, you were my favorite. So, no, well, I'm saying that in regards to. The fact that I'm cursed and bound by once I stay up late drawing until I won't know it's time to sh go to sleep until I hear the birds singing. Okay. And then nice set. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, since we've gotten to know you a little bit, uh, let's get into some of your art. Um, this is like my favorite part. So let's see what you got. If you want to hand me some off the stack okay. over here, definitely. Uh, I got right. some prints out there from the uh, okay. open house where. So having going on. Now, yeah. uh, I, I notice yours is uh, easily the most detailed out of any Palladium artist. I mean, you get a level of intricacy that none of them seem to match. Is there a, a, a reason or a way that you do that, or is that just your natural style? Uh, good question, Carmen. Uh, actually, the, my style kind of developed based on history of uh, 
sort of the school rebellion. Um, as me and Will were talking, we were, I found out a lot of teachers kind of frowned upon uh, our type of artwork that we were into this industry, especially at the time we were coming up and about. So I was told to not do as much detail because that's not something that's going to sell. That's not something that's going to be you know able to pick up. But in not doing the detail, I seemed to get lost in the mass as much easier. But once I developed in my own style, I realized certain detail and intricacy that just became my style. And that's what got me more attention, got me more jobs in the industry because it became a signature. All right. So, okay. so how about this piece here? He's holding up and he's getting his sore arm on. Uh, okay. Don't like both. This one was the uh, Hydros Dragon. It was an illustration for the Lemuria uh, source book that just released and is doing pretty well. And it's, you know, one of the pieces that I had fun doing. It's uh, of a it's an actual aquatic dragon with scales and things of that nature and different textures from the water to the dragon becoming translucent under the water. Very cool. Right. And let's move on to the next piece. Oops. Technical difficulties okay. here. This one was, Kev basically called me and said, um, we need a biomancer, a Lemurian biomancer. Turn and the paper, <laughs> Will. <laughs> there we go. And I, you know, love to kind of catch, you know, Kevin off guard if I can. It's kind of hard to do, but <laughs> there are pieces that give you an opportunity. And I said, well, you know, by the Lemurians being aquatic, I would love to see the Lemurians engaging the Splugor slavers because the Splugor slavers, to me, when I first saw Rifts, it was one of the most iconic creatures. And I said, we need to make sure we reinsert and get those. So this was an opportunity for me to do it, of having a Biomancer demonstrating his prowess yeah. against something that's iconic. Yeah, that's a great picture. Great, yeah, great picture. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank and uh, especially when it's right side up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going to check now from now on. Cause oh, just follow the bubbles. He likes to catch me off guard, too. <laughs> yeah. All right, here Here's we go. one of my favorite ones. I really like that one. Ah, the tiger serpent. Uh, one of the uh, serpent's options that are available for the OCC occupational character class of serpent hunters. And this is one of the beasts that you get to choose if you choose that class to ride. And it's a huge, fierce, aquatic, but it's amphibious predator that uh, I had enjoyed doing as well. Yeah, it's just great. It, 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 I mean, you can tell that it's supposed to be a tiger, but it's not a tiger. I mean, it's it's just awesome. It's All just right. a great picture. Yeah, it is very sweet. Thank you. All That's right. what I was seeking. On the next one, <laughs> it's one of my faves, actually. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh. Now we're getting into the armor. Uh, one of the bio armors for the Lemurians that were available. This one is a coral armor. So I was. I had to do a lot of referencing. You guys asked about what I do. I did reference a ton of different coral and find out a lot more than I needed, but <laughs> just piled it on the armor, you know. Just to see what it actually just, looks like. Exactly. What works and what bigger pieces would fit for the shoulders versus the more intricate for the intricate parts. And then if I wanted to play the character, that's the other thing I always look at. If I had to play that character, what would sell me on it? So the helmet, I had to bring everything together with the helmet. Yeah, it looks wow. really good. It came together oh, really you. well. And for this next piece, which is actually another one of my favorites. Another uh, big dragon? Yep, yeah, another big dragon, baby. Another dragon. The ghost dragon. Um, one of the pieces, just again, with dragons, dragons being such an iconic creature, it allows me to just kind of go balls out as much as I would like to and do the scales and the detail, but it's still based off of more of a Middle Eastern um, type of dragon. But just with a little riffs touch to it. Yeah, that, that one, I mean, that's a picture that you you expect to see in, like, a, a tour guide of uh, China or something, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, or, yeah. or see on the side of a temple. Yeah, <laughs> well, definitely not something I wouldn't want to see coming out of the water. Yes, yeah, def <laughs> I wouldn't go swimming anymore. Now, this one, this is just top-notch. Yeah, uh, we're going to make sure we do a nice blow-up on that one. Okay, Indeed. thank you, thank you. That one is one that is been one of my pieces that I've been wanting to get out for the longest. Um, it's for the upcoming Splicer Source book. Um, it's in it demonstrating a... Oh, I can't give away too much on this, can I? Well, <laughs> just, just give us um, a... Just basically, the, the, the uh, concept is actually created by Carmen, um, dealing with a planet that you're not for sure if it's Earth or not, and where the machine created um, a nanobot virus, because it's 
seeing human population as rats, as pestilence, and it's trying to wipe them out and neutralize them. And therefore, it's creating machines to do this and execute this. And the humans by them can't, majority of them, there are a few exceptions, but majority of them were to, uh, forced to turn into biotechnology. So what we have here is the paradigm of the two um, facets going at it from a um, war mount and what they call an outrider OCC class fighting one of the machines. Yeah. And now, how did you get the colors? Are those hand colored or are those digital? Or um, explain us to us, because it's the first one we've seen from you that's colored. That's color. Ex explain us how you get from the black and white that you do to that really nice color. Oh, thank you. Um, the process that I utilize is I do uh, pencils, and once I get a nice tight pencils, I'll scan it in, and then I'll begin to do the digital painting all by Adobe Photoshop and sometimes uh, Painter. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Right. <laughs> and, aha. Oh, there's another one. There's one final piece. And we're running short on time, so. Well, actually, it's the same one. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first one you did. That's the yeah. first one? <laughs> Uh, he's he's tricking you. The armor uh, kind of brainwashes. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's hypnotic, baby. It's Thank hypnotic. You. All right, so you've gotten all that. And did uh, you know what books you're coming? Uh, uh, what books you're working on next? Um, currently, I've been assigned uh, the Northern Gun um, books one and two. I'm doing a lot of the mechs, or I should say, robots, power armor. Uh, Quite a bit of vehicles, um, but from the Northern Gun, I' not for sure what is up in the pipeline. All right, as far as that. Yeah. So we're gonna see a whole lot of Chuck Walton's work in the future, then. Um, if all if all is good, yeah. If all, if all is good. <laughs> all right, well, man, thanks. We uh, it was great having you. Uh, it was um, a pleasure to be here. You know, and uh, until next time, Big Will Johnson, Kyron Blair, and Chuck Walton. And this is from the Riffs. Remember, guys, make sure click on the ads. This is how we finance some of this stuff. We need your help. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we'll keep doing bigger and better videos and give you better insiders. If you want to email me, it's bigwill at gmail.com. Uh, you can also check the Palladium forums for From the Riffs. And uh, we'll get at you later. See ya. Have a good one.